So since March of 2020, the Department of Corrections has reported a 54% decrease in prison admission. So 54% less people are going to prison. And as of right now, there's about 4,000 prison beds that are empty in uh, prisons across the state of Washington. So to cut down that $80 million that they're hoping to cut out of the budget over the next two years, DOC announced that they are going to be closing some units and consolidating some units in prisons in Washington. So it'll be done in two two phases and the Monroe Correctional Complex is included in both of the phases. Phase one closures are considered low impact, meaning there would be little change for staff and inmates, but phase two closures are considered high impact and some inmates and staff would potentially be transferred to other facilities in the state. I spoke with Arthur Longworth. He's serving a life sentence in the Monroe Correctional Complex and says the announcement has incarcerated individuals on edge and unsure of their futures. My initial reaction to that was um, um, anxiety over what, what that might mean. You know, the anxiety comes from, from people realizing that uh, a lot of us are going to be moved away from our, our home base our, our, and, our, and our families and friends. The Department of Corrections gave this statement to King 5 about inmates potentially moving to other facilities. Uh, it said our goal in phase two is to minimize transfers of individuals whenever possible, which is why phase two will take more time to conduct stakeholder conversations to look for solutions to mitigate any impacts on incarcerated individuals and their family. Now, DOC told me as of right now, there are no plans to fully close any prisons across the state of Washington. For now, live in Monroe, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.